Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I have a little pouch to open, but it packs a punch. Um, this is another one of the giveaway items, so <laughs> another thing that I'm jealous of, frankly. Uh, this giveaway is uh, kind of going in that direction. There's a lot of things in here that I selfishly wish I could keep, but I'm not going to. They're for the 5k giveaway. Um, so this was sent in by John of BGM Knives, and it is a custom fixed blade that we're going to check out. And uh, when the 5k giveaway goes live, this will be part of it. So uh, let's check it out. <laughs> um, John over at BGM has become a buddy. He's a really, really cool dude, and uh, he does fantastic work that he, in my opinion, kind of charges too little for. He's really talented, and uh, he's just a really nice guy. Every time I talk to him, I really like John over at BGM. I did that wrong. Let's see, I wanna, I don't know if there's gonna be like a sticker or anything in here, so I'm gonna try to not slice the entire package open like a total rookie. Um, but yeah, John is, uh, he's in, New Hampshire, I think, something like that. Is that what NH stands for? Seems right to me. <laughs> and uh, he's just, yeah, he's a few years younger than I am, I think, which I'm in my late 20s. And he's a, a really talented dude. He's making awesome knives. He has a number of different models. I own the Pike. And that knife now, for pretty much a year solid, I think it's been almost a year, has been my go-to on my pack, fixed to my day pack, like hiking fixed blade. And it hasn't come off, it stays there. And I use it on just about every hike for something. And it's just a really, really nice, like perfectly sized and shaped fixed blade for that purpose. And I love it. Um, I have no inclination to even swap that one out. And I, I've reviewed a number of fixed blades some of which reasonably could be mounted like that as well. And I just, I really like the pike right there. I love the way that knife is put together. So uh, this is a full custom from him that, the way I understand it, this is kind of funny, um, somebody ordered this knife from him, had him build it for them, and then they backed out, which is, I'm going to say, kind of a douche move to do if you have a custom maker make a knife for you. I get sometimes things happen. I'm not saying across the board, you're a terrible person if you have to back out on a build or something, but it kind of sucks that he had already built this and then somebody backed out on it. So when I asked John about um, being part of the giveaway, everyone that I ask, it's very like, if this is helpful for you, I'd love to have you. And I only ask a select small group of people. Um, I think literally everybody said yes and sent something that I did ask. All super generous, but anyways, I was like, if it's helpful for you, if you could use the exposure of being included in a giveaway for my 5K, then like, I'd love to have it. Feel free to send something in, but even if it's like just stickers or if you don't want to send anything, totally get it, you know? And he was like, oh, let me see if I've got anything that would make sense. And um, a few days later, he messaged back and he's like, a guy backed out on this. So this is a true like custom. I'm pretty sure this is a one-off. Um, it's not one of his catalog models from what I understand. And uh, yeah, let's let's get it out of the sheath so you can see it. But first things first, let's look at the sheath actually. He does really, really good Kydex work on his sheaths. I love the sheath on my pike. It's just like zero wobble here as well. There's, there's no wobble in it. I guess if I torque it, <laughs> I can get it to wobble, but just shaking it, it doesn't. Um, and it, yeah, it just fits so well. There's no rattle. Everything is like nice and tight on it. The retention is great. He puts in this nice kind of thumb ramp right there. Pop it off and boom. Oh, this is wild. Yeah, this is a crazy little build. So this is a Tanto with a recurve and a crazy looking swedge on it. He did this cord wrapped handle and the way that he does his cord wrapped handles, um, he pulls like the center of the paracord out and then I think he hardens it and waxes it on top. That's what it feels like to me. I know he at least hardens it, but I'm pretty sure he waxes it just based on the way this feels. But look at that. It's really, really nice. Kind of looks like a, a Deadpool type of wrap on there with the black underneath the red. And then he's got his nice stonewash finish on here. It looks really kind of like aggressive, but cool. It's also a really fun size. This is like a just barely four fingers kind of in a saber grip. It's more like three and a half, but it feels really good in my hand. Um, really, really nice. Yeah, this is cool. It's a hollow grind for this main bevel. 
yeah, it's hollow grind for the whole thing, actually. Um, wow, yeah, that gets really thin, kind of right where that Tanto, like, secondary tip comes down. I bet this would be awesome, actually, for, like, EDC fixed blade type of stuff, because, like, opening boxes, you just kind of drag that part of the blade through. <laughs> that would do really well. It's got a great edge on it. Of course it does. He's awesome at sharpening. Um, yeah, this is really, really cool. So I don't know. I'll find out by the time that I list the giveaway if there's a name for this model or if it's just a one-off custom. Um, I forget as well. I should have looked it up what blade steel this is in because he works with a couple. I want to say it's ADC RV2, but I could be wrong. I know he sometimes works with um, like 3V or sometimes he does Z-Wear, um, I think. So yeah, I'll find out more details about the specific build that went into this knife, what steel it's made out of, and, and if there's any more info on it. All right, I'm injecting this somewhere in the middle. I found this after I finished recording. I just looked in the bag again. I'm an idiot. Um, the, <laughs> the blade is ADC RV2 um, cryo, which I think I mean means he cryogenically heat treated it. Um, 60 to 61 HRC. My pike is also an ADC RV2, and that thing is going strong. It's really, really good for a fixed blade like this. Um, it does say full custom. So. That's the info that's on the card. I'm glad that I opened the box back up and, and found this in there. Um, so this will be included with the knife as well. Anyways, back to wherever I was in the video when I put this in. But uh, really, really generous of John to send this over. And another, another contribution to the giveaway that I will be very jealous of, whoever wins it. I haven't decided yet what way I'm going to divide up uh, the packages, I'll probably do two, maybe three packages. Um, but we had the uh, Quiet Carry Drift sent in, the new one with the thumb studs, the TRM, Three Rivers Manufacturing Neutron, the new Neutron, um, and then Cutlery Shop sent in the Cut Club case. Now there's this. <laughs> so there's a 20 slot knife case, two folders, one fixed blade, and I think there's one more package coming. I'll confirm today. Um, because if it's not, then I'll go ahead and, and jump right into getting this live. It's already way past 5,000 subs now, so I'm, I'm late at this point. But uh, yeah, this is going to be really, really cool. There will be at least two winners. And the, I mean, <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe I'm looking at it weird, but I feel like this giveaway, maybe it's because it's mine and I'm the one putting it on. But this is a bananas giveaway. The fact that there's a custom fixed blade two very, very nice folders that are frankly both pretty hard to get a lot of the time. A really nice knife storage case, which I use and love. Um, of course, I'll throw in a bunch of like my stickers and stuff too, but this is wild. Um, so John over at BGM, thank you so much for sending this. I really do appreciate it. I'm gonna link down below in this video to John's website and his Instagram. And uh, yeah, if you are not familiar with his work, check him out because I've been saying this since I got my first knife from him. I think there will come a time <clears throat> where his pricing inherently will go up because it's, it's crazy to me how little he charges for what good work he does with nice materials and being quick and just being a really cool dude. Like it's just, yeah, his, his pricing is more than fair. So if you haven't checked his stuff out, um, take a look at the fixed blades on his website and on his Instagram and, uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's worth having your attention. This is cool. It's a nice subtle recurve too. It's not like too crazy, but it is there. So I imagine for like pushing through stuff, I actually really love a recurve for like cardboard. This would make a great little EDC fixed blade for sure. That swedge is gnarly too. <coughs> anyway, sorry. Um, yeah, there'll be more info on this uh, when the giveaway goes live. I'll talk about it a little bit more then. So you'll see that ni this knife again in that video. And uh, whoever wins this will be a lucky little duck. <laughs> um, this is cool. Awesome. Thanks again, John. Again, he'll be linked down below. I'm going to stop rambling. The knife is out of the box. Comes with a sheath. It is awesome. We'll see you on the next one.